Hello friends, this is second part, of how to display process of importing of CSV file data, on progress bar in PHP by using Ajax jQuery. In previous part, we have seen how to upload CSV file into folder, by using Ajax with PHP. Now in this part, we will read that uploaded file, and import data of that uploaded CSV file, into MySQL database by using PHP script with Ajax. For this, we have go to index.php file, and here we have make start import function, this function with send Ajax request for start importing CSV file data. Under this function, we have write dollar with span tag id process, with CSS method, and under this we have display property set to block. It will display progress bar on web page. Now we have start write Ajax request, and under this we have write first option URL set to import.php file. It will send request to import.php file. After this, we have write success callback function, this function will be called after successfully completed of Ajax request. Now we want to call this function, after uploading CSV file, for this here we have write start import function, so after uploading of file this function will be called, and it will start importing CSV file data. Now we have go to import.php file, and here first we have write set time limit function with zero argument, it will restarts the timeout counter from zero. Below this function, we have write ob implicit flust function with one as argument, this code will turn implicitly flushing on. Same way we have write, session start function, it will start session on this page. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function, with dollar session csv file name variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar connect variable is equal to, nuke to class, with mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to testing, and password set to blank, it will make database connection. After making database connection, we have write dollar file data variable is equal to file open function. Under this, we have write file folder name slash dollar session csv file name variable with read option this code will read content of file and store under dollar file data variable for split first line we have write file get csv function with dollar file data variable for read whole file content one by one we have write while loop with condition like dollar row variable is equal to file get csv function with dollar file data variable under this loop we have write dollar data variable is equal to array in first key we have write double colon first name with value dollar row zero index. In second key, we have write double colon last name, 
with value dollar row 1 index. Below this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into sample table with table column first name, last name, and values get from double colon first name and last name. After this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. It will make query for execution, and for query execution, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable. Below this code, we have write sleep function with one second, this code will delay execute one second. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write ob get level function value greater than zero. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this, we have write ob end flush function, it will send output buffer and turn off output buffering. For remove session variable value, we have write unset function, with dollar session csv file name variable, it will remove value of the session variable. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, here on web page we can see simple form for select file, with import button. So here we have select csv file, and after this we have click on import button, after click on import button, here on web page we can see progress bar has been appear. Now we have go to mysql table, and here we can see csv file data importing process, so here we can see this number data has been imported. Now we have refresh web page, so data importing number has been increase. So in next part, we will display, csv file data importing process on web page in progress bar by using ajax with php if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also Thanks for watching this video tutorial.